You know that feeling like the children. The children in Christmas. Christmas is coming in one month from now. Where they're waiting for their present. So mine arrived today. This is the new M1 Mac Mini. And I got the 8 gigabytes of memory and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. The reason why I bought this specific uh, Mac Mini is first of all because if I wanted to upgrade to the 16 gigabytes, I would wait for a very long time. And this channel here, for the past two years and some small months, you're watching a lot of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. And with the new Macs, we have the Final Cut Pro. So as you can understand, there wasn't any possibility for me to not get this M1 Max. We have seen a lot of unboxings, reviews, benchmarks, testing so far. We already saw that this thing is extremely fast and I wanted this to be my main machine. I'm telling you that uh, subscribe to this channel if you're using Final Cut Pro, if you are a video editor, if you're using Adobe, Photoshop, Lightroom, because I will do everything that can be done on this machine and prepare to see a lot of uh, video editing with lots of color grading, lots of different effects, transitions, uh, all the things that you can do. Also, I have the Sony A7S III, so one of my main questions was how it can handle the OLI and uh, file on this uh, camera, how it can handle lots of color grading, but with adjustment layers, with effects, with transitions, with five, six layers. You know, I want to push it to the limit. I want to see where the eight gigabyte, the basic version, the one that you can buy with $699 right now in the US, how much can it handle on a video editing. Also, if you have any suggestion, any idea that you haven't seen in the videos that they're online already for over a week now, I'm waiting you in the comment section down below. I'm waiting you for the comments to suggest me things that you think I should do with this Mac Mini, the M1 Mac Mini, and you want to see on the channel. I'm open and as you know, we have a lot of Final Cut. So, what do you say? Should we unbox it? I'm gonna be as gentle as possible. By the way, this is the first Mac Mini that I ever own, so I'm looking forward to see what my impressions are gonna be. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff from uh, Patrick Tomaso, from Lee Zavids. Let's see, top angle, okay. Wow. Silver for the color, we see the Apple logo. And that's not, that's not too heavy. That's not too heavy if you consider that this is um, a strong computer, right? Like <laughs> you hold that and okay, let's put that to the side a little bit. We see here designed by Apple in California, and inside we have papers, 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 and a very big sticker. Okay, I'm not used to this kind of stickers. Usually, I was used to the small ones that we see on the mobile phones, and of course, we have the charging cable and minimal unboxing, minimal unboxing. Very nice. So let's go. Let's put the stickers on this side. Here is the bottom base. Here we have the Mac Mini with the logo and let's reveal the back of it to see the ports. We're opening from here. Okay, let's see top camera as well. Oh, 
Oh my. All right, so we have the power. Here is the, for the power cable, the Ethernet. We have two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports and one HDMI. And we have two USB-A and the headphone jack for the headphone. We don't have four ports like the previous generation of Mac Mini. This channel is dedicated to Final Cut Pro 10. Final Cut Pro for the Big Sur, the new upgrades and the new M1 Max. So the unboxing of the Mac Mini has finished. Please put on your seat belts, sit tight, grab your popcorns, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, with notifications bell open because you're gonna see a lot of content. Should you have the eight gigabytes or the 16 gigabyte? A question that we see a lot. This is the eight gigabyte of RAM version. Is it gonna handle? How is it handled with Final Cut Pro? How are the things with third-party plugins from other companies that are creating plugins from Final Cut? Let's push this little beast on its limits. I'm Emilio, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Now, if you excuse me, I was waiting for the whole day to unbox it and go and connect it. So, see you later.